So Alex, this is really exciting, a Mark I MX-5. Yeah, it's a 1993 manufactured Mark I MX-5 that was then imported into the UK in around 1997, we think. So actually, originally, it's from Japan. So tightly packaged underneath the bonnet of this car is a 120 kilowatt motor, uh, 310 newton meters of torque via our bespoke two to one reduction, and then into the original prop and rear differential, uh, paired with a 42 kilowatt hour battery that's capable with CCS charging. Being one of our direct drive 350 volt systems, we've got CCS charging. So we're currently at 60 kilowatts on this vehicle and therefore your 20 to 80% is about a 45 minute charge. That's because we've got a 42 kilowatt hour battery pack, which in this car with this aerodynamics and this sort of weight, sort of just over 1.1 tons, we're looking at a range of 150 uh, miles on a single charge. Packaging in here is a real testament to you know, skilled integration engineering, isn't it? Exactly, yeah. As you can see, it's, it's really crammed in there. And actually on this car, customers gone for a load of optional extras like the air conditioning that you can see on, on your side yep. over there. And one of the exciting things for me about this is, as we do in a number of other cars now, is using the battery box almost as a stressed member because it's taking the whole of the volume where the engine was and we're mounting the motor on the back of it so that the motor is sitting in the transmission tunnel where the gearbox was driving directly through to the differential via a, a, a smaller prop shaft. Absolutely flies in sports mode. Originally I think this thing had about 115 horsepower. Now it's about 160 but with increased torque from the electric motor it really picks up well. So I've just flicked it into sports mode. We'll give it a boot and see what she does. Oh. So everything looks all fairly standard. Uh, we've even managed to keep the original gear lever uh, to select forwards and reverse. But apart from that, it's a normal key on, foot on the brake, crank it over and sort of away you go. The only thing to point out is this switch panel down here. One is our normal uh, eco-normal sports mode, so our different driving profiles. Little rotary dial down there, flicks into sport mode, immediately we've got bags more performance. And the other one was uh, sort of customer uh, requested, uh, so it's actually a speed limiter. So we have 20 miles an hour, 30 miles an hour and to infinity and beyond? Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have the rev counter showing? So in this case, it's showing a power gauge. So four o'clock is our zero position. Anything to the left is regen and anything to the right hand side is, is power on. And the fuel gauge is just showing state of charge. Yeah, so fuel gauge is showing state of charge and temperature is again temperature as it's a water cooled system. Yeah, fabulous. So apart from the acceleration and the perfect handling and the sheer drivability of this car, what do I like about it? Well, for me, it's really cool because it really shows the way that different parts of Electrogenic cross over into each other. A lot of people don't know this, but we build prototypes for car manufacturers, and so we incorporate all sorts of features in those, like body control modules and speed limiters and, and all sorts of other tech, because these are cars being made to be driven in a modern way by modern drivers with a modern feel. This is the first time we've taken a historic car, a modern classic if you like, and taken all those touches we make for car manufacturers and install them in a slightly older car. So this is a real fusion project. I have to admit, this is my absolute favorite car. <laughs> it drives like a car of the modern era. It handles like a car of the modern era, but it's enhanced with the EV, which means that it is immediate. Just any tickle of the throttle pedal in sports mode and it's just smiles.